Hi guys, Abby Kay here, and I wanted to bring you a flip through of Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 1. We had a lot of fun going through this level with my youngest this year. Uh, when my older student uh, jumped into Apologia Math, we started with Level 2, so it was nice to go back and get to do Level 1 this year. So when you purchase math from Apologia, you get the teaching guide and answer key, and then you get the student book. So let's start with the teaching guide. Quick look at the table of contents shows the different units that will be covered in this course. So we start with introduction to addition addition and subtraction, which is showing the relationship between addition and subtraction, place value, measurement and data, and geometry. The week-by-week -week daily schedule is really nice and well laid out with homeschoolers in mind. This is exactly the information that um, is useful for knowing what to do next. It is set up as a four-day school week, for 28 weeks. We don't follow this exactly. Um, you know, life happens. We don't always school for four days a week, and sometimes we get five days in. Um, so it's nice to have the checklist where you just do the next thing. The um, schedule also shows not only the lesson to do, but also the skills to practice. The introduction is well worth the read. I love seeing um, the thoughts from the author on the course that she wrote. Catherine Gomes is a second generation homeschooler who um, was homeschooled herself, homeschools her children, teaches at different homeschool groups and co-ops. She even does ACT and SAT prep classes. She knows what homeschoolers need. So here's a little overview of what they mean by the daily skills practice in the schedule that I showed you. Okay, now we get into the answer guide. Uh, this starts with a unit introduction. So it gives you the supplies needed, um, some information about the upcoming unit and the, and the topics covered. And then for each lesson, you will have an answer key and any teaching notes that would be helpful. So you can see here's the answer key, which is just a uh, copy of the worksheet with the answers filled in and then teaching notes. And that is true for every single lesson, which is very helpful. I know sometimes you think, oh, it's just first grade math. I don't need the answer key. But it's very nice to be able to see how it should look. Lots of activities. Every lesson is different, which helps keep the student engaged and interested. Unit two, again, the unit introduction with the supply list, information on the topics covered, the skills to practice this unit, and then into the lesson answer keys. As we move through the answer key, we would then get to the activity pages, which I don't have a whole lot to show you here as we are nearing the end of our school year, but this is where that you would find the pages um, for things that the student needs to cut out or game boards for the activity that they're going to play. You just tear them right out from the back and use them from here. The very last thing in the teaching guide is the supply list. This is a complete supply list. So it does include things that you're probably already going to have on hand to start with. One thing that I absolutely adore about this program is how doable the activities are. As you can see from the supply list, uh, they really are, for the most part, common household items. I think the only thing I've really needed to put on our grocery list uh, was the M&Ms, which, hey, 
Everybody loves a snack with math, so I didn't mind. But I believe really, you know, with a pack of UNO cards and a set of uh, base 10 blocks, you could really go far for the activities in this level. Now on to the student book. This is the meat of the course. We really like the large spiral binding. It holds up well and it's easy to, for the student to use to just flip around and be able to write easily in the pages. It's the little things we enjoy, isn't it? Okay, a more thorough table of contents really shows you each a breakdown of each lesson. Some helpful information on how to use the course. And then the, um, you jump right into the student pages. So this is the introduction to this unit. This is where there's going to be that connection between math and God's creation. They are wonderful, sweet, and um, really help the student understand why we are learning math. I will say, though, this is really the only part of the course that you're going to see those uh, biblical or faith-based themes. If that's not something you're interested in, it would be very easy to skip over these pages uh, without really missing a whole lot content-wise. So don't let that um, keep you from checking out this curriculum if you're not as interested in the faith part. Okay, now we're into the student work pages. Each lesson is going to have an opening activity, some explanation or examples, and then the practice. Lots of beautiful, colorful pages that really help my, my children stay engaged and interested without being too overwhelming or flashy. So we start real gentle with just a reminder and practice in counting and sequencing with lots of opportunities to be colorful and creative along the way. Hands-on activities, again, things that are actually doable. We have tried many other math programs, oh, so very many, and a lot of the ones that uh, advertise as being hands-on or full of activities, we really just didn't do them. They were hard to find the supplies, they took a long time, or they just didn't work when we did try them, so we gave up. But these, they work, they're fun, and they're easy. It's, you know, tear out the page from the teaching guide and use a paper clip and a pencil as a game spinner, and there you go, you're, you're playing a math game. Um, it's build some towers with linking cubes or Legos. It's count out, um, we use cereal, cereal a lot for our counters or uh, M&Ms, chocolate chips, whatever we have on hand, and it works great. So we move through the different units, the different chapters um, in each lesson, all following a topic. There is absolutely review along the way, but I do like that each um, unit, each chapter is focusing on one new concept at a time. All right, let's move through here. Um, what else would you like? We uh, appreciated that it started very simple with that review of counting and then moving into addition. But it does move then on into more complex uh, ideas, um, the relationship between addition and subtraction, which is really important, um, getting those addition facts learned. So sometimes these early elementary levels can be a little tricky. You know, you pick up one um, first grade love uh, curriculum 
And it's, you're like, oh my goodness, my, my child was doing this in kindergarten. She's not going to want to do that again this year. Or you pick it up from a different publisher and oh my goodness, this is way beyond what they're, you know, my child is ready for. This one seems to fit nicely that balance between reinforcing those early math skills, but also getting to move a little bit into the more challenging um, relationship between addition, subtraction, geometry, space, uh, charting with all the graphs and practice with collecting data. She's had so much fun the last few weeks asking all of her family members their favorite breakfast, their favorite dessert, their favorite colors and seasons. So she's had a lot of fun being the interviewer and recording the data. So I find Apologia really strikes that balance well between reinforcing these basic ideas, but still um, being interesting enough to keep them engaged. So here we are into the lessons we haven't gotten to yet. She's starting to track her weather and just having a lot of fun along the way. I really don't have to fight her to sit down and do her math. She enjoys it which is what we want, isn't it? Lots of shapes. Each unit has a project that they get to do, which is always a big hit. And we end here with the last unit project, which looks so much fun. They love these pattern blocks. And ending with a certificate of completion, which my kids always get a kick out of. So there you have it, Apologia Mathematics Level 1. Thanks for watching.